Welcome back, Gamer Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let's see what Isabel has to say today. Morning, everyone. Right now, I'm Burp, and it's 11.57 a.m. on Friday, May 5th. May the uh, Revenge of the Sith Day, 2023. Most fashionable of the Able Sisters label is visiting us on Bourbon today. Hey, i am actually got my sound on, so you all get to see me do that. She says she needs volunteers to help with some research. If you have time, please visit her in the plaza. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. All right, so we will indeed do that. I have a surprise today. I actually went and visited somebody's island. I'll probably get a phone call here. My phone is ringing. With my cool Stephen Thomas Gaming phone. Hello, this is Tommy from Nook's Cranny. We sent a payment of 24000 Thank you for your service. But anyway, uh, a viewer, I'm going to butcher this name, Tara Bulatikat. From the island of Juniper, let me come sell bells or two turnips for 461 bells a piece. If I knew I was going to get that kind of price, I would have probably bought more. But we do have enough. Uh, I did get a home expansion. So let's check our... Stop it. Yeah. Uh, okay, next shopping. Superstar. Yes, I saw this somewhere and I had to steal it. Happy Home Academy. Steve, congratulations to celebrate your new addition to your home. Please accept this gift. It's fun to create a space based on your hobbies where you're surrounding by things you love. So this new room will probably be a bathroom. Nook Inc. Dear Steve, we completed the expansion of your lovely home. However, during construction, we had to place one or more of your wall hanging items in your storage. Hope you understand. How dare you? Okay, now I'm a little confused. I thought that was another room. Whoa, Steve, mega congratulations on the mega sizing your pad. Be sure to set aside some time to enjoy this gift when you're not busy cleaning your huge house. Aha, you're welcome, Colton. Thanks, Colton. Horseman. It is Derby weekend, so he's probably in the prime spotlight. Let's see what they've added to the house. Oh, I had stuff down here in the bottom right corner. I bet they had to uh, get rid of that, because I'd say, yeah. Let me move mom's tissue box over here. Yeah, that makes total sense. Oh, you see the light up here at the top? I got that last night from a balloon, and I hung that up. So that's pretty cool. Did I get anything else? I don't think I got anything else. You all already saw the King Tut hat. Still look in the kitchen. I think I did shoot down. I shot down a lot of balloons last night. Oh, uh, we got an air purifier. Oh, and I got a spice rack. Yeah, that's right. Is there anything else in here? Um, let's see what we got in the present. This is from Colton. He got me a velvet stool. Ooh, that's very nice. Also got a Taurus bathtub. Here's my superstar. I'll put that outside. And this was from the Happy Home Academy. What did they get? Marimba. I don't know what a marimba is. Oh. Well. Maybe we'll just leave that in here in the kitchen for now, since we're still working. I know I need to change the kitchen floor. Look, I stole pears from Telebulotikat's island. I stole six of them, so we'll plant those soon. But yes, thank you so much for that island invite. Uh, I was actually outside digging in my landscape when the code came through, so I had to like run inside, and the first couple codes didn't work. But then we got some other ones. All right, so yeah, this is, okay, this is nice. Um, so in here. I think this, yeah, this bathtub here. So I also got this uh, thing for a Taurus bathtub. Uh, it's Blathers' sister. She gives me these when she shows up late at night. Um, I'm not sure what they are. Let's see. Oh. That is interesting looking. Okay. So we'll just uh, ignore that. Let's put the cypress bed. This 
is nice. Man, that would be awesome to have a bathtub like that. Too bad I can't get into it. And then, uh, let's put a stool over here in the corner. For people to sit and watch me take a bath. <laughs> Alright, that's all I got right now. I caught a scorpion late last night, too, and I didn't even feel like selling it. I was just like, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the house is coming along. I probably will not pay off my loan because what I'll do is I'll actually buy a ton of turnips this weekend before church and uh, try to do the deal again so I can make some more money. Oh, our money tree is right here in our garden. <laughs> I also played a new game last night with Sasha. Um, she hid treasure on the island and I had like three minutes to run around and find it. And that was really fun. And I'd never seen it appear during the day. So it kind of saddened me a little bit that uh, I've not seen that so I could like show you. But that, like she ran up to me and had like that little question mark above her head. Um, or he did. Somehow I didn't water them. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? We already got Nook Miles or something. What do we got? Dream House. Ah. Okay. So five and five expansions. Homie Sentiment. Yeah, I've not done any of this stuff to, uh, cornering the stock market. The powers to be of tracking turnip transactions. Uh, so I've made some money. I've made over, almost 700,000 upstart trader. I do have two real life friends that can uh, keep an eye on uh, turnip prices as well. Support your neighboring islands with a visit now and again. Hey, my first visit, I got Nook Miles for it. Traveling person, yay. That was really fun. I, I didn't think that it would be just a, a viewer that I went and saw their island, but it was really awesome. Uh, I put up some more metal ladders across the island. I know a lot of you like the, uh, whatchamacallit, it, the uh, ramps, but I prefer ladders for some reason. I know ramps are probably faster and what is that butterfly? Come to me. No, oh, where are you going? I'm not gonna be able to go across here. I'm probably gonna miss it because of that. Oh, it's back over there. It's probably one I already have. But just for the fact that it's annoying me. I caught a paper cap. I do. Paper cap butterfly. Do I read it, fly it, or spread it on tip? Well, it looked different. This fish is here taunting me. He's in a very peculiar spot. That's beginning. There we go. Those are different fish. Oh, just a loach. All right, let's uh, we gotta go see label. Oh, there. See, there's been a like, ton of slingshot stuff here lately. I don't know why. I mean, I'm not going to argue. It's been some really cool stuff. Let's see if I uh, get something else cool. Retro shades. Oh my God. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll put those up for later. We also need to put these pumps of weeds up. We'll, we need to go plant our uh, pears here in a minute. 
We'll make our way across the island. Catch this. Red snapper. I like to catch a red snapper in a lot. It just looks like a really cool fish to like pose with. Here's our DIY. Hello, mysterious stranger. While rereading my diary the other day, I came across this recipe. Ah, I never ceased to amaze myself. And now you, and only you, get the rape. Reap the benefits of my brilliance. Now bring my genius to life. Sincerely, Beardo. Gold on. Oh, man. Is that what I think it is? Is it wearable? Hold on. Hold on. Let's check this. That would go great with my helmet. Oh, my Lord. Eight gold nuggets? All right. I'm definitely going to have to uh, farm um, <laughs> some more rocks. Because I, sometimes I don't always do it. But just for the slim chance of getting the gold, I've got to now. Because I think I've only got like one gold in storage or whatnot. But that was my Pharaoh helmet. That's Scotty Steiner, Steiner level there. Scotty Steiner. Shoot! I made myself laugh and I hit the button. <laughs> Scotty Steiner. There's a 33 and a third chance I'm going to be ruling this island. <laughs> I really can't believe I just made myself laugh. I chuckled so hard that my thumb <laughs> hit the stupid button. <laughs> Oh my lord. That is the kind of mood I'm in today. I have no clue what's going on. Here's Boyd. We get some apples up. At some point I'll move some apple trees. Today is not that day. Alright, we might as well start with these rocks. I don't always showcase this, but now that we, we have a mission to get some gold, I feel like Oh, how? That seemed perfect. I don't see how I lost time on that. I feel like I got screwed on that one. Come on, gold. I did use a lot of my iron um, to make those ladders, so I probably should farm a little bit more. I use a lot of my wood too. I'm gonna have to go on like a wood catching spree. Wood catching. Wood cutting spree. Gosh. I have lost my marbles. Oh. Okay. Obviously, I don't want to take a shovel to the tree. Game. Support, Dad. We'll check in with Isabel and see what our island rating is also. Oh man, I'm so glad I did that. There we go. One of eight. I think I got one in storage maybe left over from where I did the Pharaoh's hat helmet. I don't think I've ever got more than one in a day though, but... I mean, we'll try. Like I said, I got I got to get my iron supply back up. Oh, I only got one rock left. Unfortunate. I will say though, my lunar lander that I put out last night looked amazing at nighttime. Ah, uh, nope, just one piece of gold today. That's okay though. Hey there. Oh my 
more weeds. There's Label. Let's see what her theme is today. Oh, we meet again! You know, there's so much to learn about design here on Bourbon. In fact, I wonder if maybe you might help me with a little style exercise. It goes like this. I'll call it a specific fashion theme, and then you change into an outfit that matches the theme. You'll have to model it for me, of course, but I'll give you a gift for your trouble. Sure, why not? Wonderful! Thank you so much. Let's get to it. What's the theme going to be? I'd like you to show me an outfit that says, I'm on vacation. Oh. Just think about what you'd wear on a leisurely summer trip or to one of those big resorts. Try imagining yourself relaxing in the countryside or soaking up on the sun on the beach. I'll give you some vacation clothing so you have an idea of the look I'm going for. There you go. It's a peasant blouse. Okay, if you're not sure what to do, just wear something that will go well with it. You coordinate everything from head to toe, it would be so fab. Well, that's what they say in fashion business anyway. I'll be waiting right here. Come back anytime. All right, let's see what this shirt is she give me. Oh my. That is, uh, that is a look. Okay. Um, I don't know if I got anything in my house that would go with this. I know I got some shorts and stuff. Got the gold in storage. That's really low. Um, the retro shades in storage. The tailored jacket in storage. All right, let's see, anything? Oh, I just got, I got outdoor shorts. We might have to go buy some beach clothes. The only thing I think I had that really goes with it. I have some, sh oh, they're shower sandals, okay. Well, I guess we will go to the store then. I wonder if you could fail this. Like, if you don't change clothes, does she, like, hate you? Those are the April sisters. Then. We'll talk to our... We'll talk to Sable to make Mabel mad. Hey there, welcome to April sisters. We'll be so fashions made lovingly by Claw. Let's go talk to your sister. She's my favorite. We ran into another tailor shop like this in a different place before we came here. That was the shop our late parents left us. But then Label went on her journey, and all of our other friends set off to try new things. So we decided to get a fresh start too. That's how we came here on Bourbon. And coming here was totally the right call. It's fun, the scenery is great, and you can't beat the neighbors. But I have to admit, I do miss our old store sometimes. I do too. We ran that old place for quite a while, so it's filled with good memories. But it's still there, and we can visit it whenever. So let's focus on making our new shop even better. Good point, sis. Let's keep working hard. Good old Mabes. She's really giving in her all. I have to admit, I know just what she means about missing our old shop. But at the same time, I'm so, so glad we came to this island. I finally feel like we have a family again. Aw. Aw, that's cute. All right, so what can I match up with? Ooh, athletic short. Yeah, that seems like something that would uh, go with. Wait, if I'm on vacation. Yeah, we're going to go with these dark. Ooh, wait, these blue ones. No, I, I like these. Uh, this color here. Um, I can wear some uh, headgear. I don't have any sunglasses. Why would you wear an eye mask? Oh yeah, some super cool pilot shades. That's vacation like. Um no show socks. Do they have any they don't. They just got they got walking shoes.
Might have to go back with the bright red. Uh... Oh yeah, that's totally. I don't like my hat though. They don't really have any. Uh... Oh, oh, never mind. Perfect. That is amazing. Purchase. <laughs> <laughs> Looking sharp, thanks so much. I'll go ahead and ship what you were wearing directly to your home. Oh yeah, that's great. Wait, can I uh a world of creativity? Can I put like uh Can I put my logo on a shirt and wear it? Let's see here. You can now post up to 200 custom designs. Uh, oh, can I not make it? Oh. Well. Maybe I do it on the wall here. Let's see. Hello there. Which row did you want a closer look? Top or bottom? Um, bottom row, please. Oh. I'll have to figure out how to do my own. I'm curious now. I'll design some cool stuff. All right, let's go see Label. See if she likes my look. Why wouldn't she? I see you've changed clothes. Can I take a look at the outfit you came up with? Of course. Oh, good. Let's see it then. Ah, hmm. I see. Yes, this is what I mean when I say I'm looking for a vacation style. What a superb combination of the pieces. You've expressed the theme beautifully. I learned so much. Thank you. I'm going to send you a thank you gift to your home. Remember to use the tailor tickets at the tailor shop, okay? And please take this too. I made it with my own two paws. It's another design from my label. A lapel knit shirt. Hope you like the style. This is a new design I just finished. I'm planning on having it sold at the tailor shop. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you for being so very helpful. Let's see what her shirt looks like. Oh, that looks so much better than what I was wearing. Okay. I am ready for summer. I'm on I'm vacation ready. Well, hello there, Steve. Just like that, your home has another proper room, hmm? That's another upgrade to an even cushier lifestyle. Which brings us to the cost of your remodel. That'll be 750,000 and eight. 758,000 bells. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Please make your payments using the Nook Stops ABD feature as you've done before. One other thing I should mention. As part of the home customization services available, you can do now order replacement doors. Changing your door will change the vibe of your home. So I do hope you try to give it a time sometime. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. Nothing fun today. So many Nook Miles. I don't know what to do with them all. Custom Designs Portal. Oh. Well, I might as well buy that. Sure, I might as well. Thank you for using the Nook Stop. Yes, now I can access the custom designs portal from my custom designs app. Uh, reading Nook Miles. 
think we already have the green bamboo fence. I know we have the stone fence because I've already put it. Yeah, we already got both of those. Um. I don't really want anything else. I'll see if anything's changed on the Nook shopping. Uh, nope. Same stuff. I don't have much money, so... Yeah, I've got 1.8 million now in my savings. But I, I would still have over a million if I paid the loan off. But I think I'll save and see um, about buying turnips on uh, Sunday, a couple days from now. So, and then maybe I could really make some buku bucks. All right, let's go cut down this money tree here. Let's we'll see Matilda back there working out. Get a little squirrely with the axe. Oh, Matilda's really getting into it back there. Look at that. It's like hip hop dancing. What's our item today? Tiki torch and wooden bucket. It's always when I'm low on wood that they. Uh, Hit it. Alright, let's go try to... How much room do I got? Okay, I need to put the star down. We need to go plant these trees. I need to go find some more... Um, uh, Whatchamacallits. I didn't know that limited my access to the beach. I might have to move that. Um, oh my god, there's two of these things here. Fly back over here. Jerk. What? How did I miss him? I demand a recount. I don't think I missed it. Or Sasha. Sasha! You made me miss the dragonfly. There we go. What's up, Sasha? Yay, it's Steve. Let's chat. The sky today looks clear and dry, but that means the sun and moon are happy. Is something up? I haven't been paying attention. Let's talk. I love riding and stuff. Anytime I don't get a walk is a good time. I never thought about it. I wonder what the funnest thing to ride is. Uh -oh. I like riding in cars. Did you know they got international combobulation engines? That means there's a bunch of explosions happening inside the engine all the time. It's real amazing. Yeah, just press the gas pedal down real hard and boom! Vroom! Boom! <laughs> Screech! Out of my way, man. I am not allowed to drive cars. <laughs> Anymore. Oh my lord, Sasha. Let's take a picture. There we go. Beautiful. Thought you were gonna walk over here. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. I'll use one of those. I really thought that I had this. I think I do have this dragon flag cornered. For some reason he can't come out the pier. Oh man, there's something like right there. I, like, have to go in for it. There's actually two things here. That was pretty big. What do we got? Oh, the sea enemy. Do I have to go back to the store now? I know I'm full of stuff. Okay, this is a lot farther out than I thought it was. Probably the same thing. Yep. Here we go. Hello. 
close. Wouldn't mind finishing this rotation just to get all the stuff off the beach. Pick some more of those apples. Get some money from the Nook Boys. Oh god, that one's already running from me. This might be something rare. Oh my god, it's fast. Get it. I'm gonna corner it. What is it? Oh, it's a lobster. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely swap it. What am I gonna swap it with? Uh, that loach. That thing was fast. I didn't know lobsters were fast like that. He was on the move. All right, let's go to the store. Something back over there. I just, I can't. I'm full. All right. I think there was a tree by the, there's a fossil. Or four. I just have to remember it there. Try to do my dailies, man. Oh, there's another fossil. So two of them are right there. Okay. All right, let's go see if they got anything cool in here to sell today. Of a wrestling ring. I think I already got that out of a tree once. Like on day one. I like that map. Uh, I want to sell. This, this, this. Six thousand sold. Um, ooh, is that a disco ball? Six thousand, uh, sold. And what is this? Study poster. 640 bales? Uh, yeah. That was, uh, good purchases. We will add those to the house immediately. The star is going to go out on the island here. We're getting ready to plant some trees. Let me take this, uh, wetsuit off. Thank you, thank you. Because we need to go dig up the fossils because it's not an episode without blathers. Make sure there's no uh, hidden fossil up here. I think I already come to this area. Back here eating donut. Hi, Steve. How are things, Squeaky? Wanna chat? Nice to see you smile. Having fun, Squeaky? What's up, Squeaky? Let's chat. 
I heard that Label is on the island for the day, Squeaky. Trying to work up the nerve to ask her opinion of my outfit. Go do it. Whatever. So happy to see you, Laba. Wanna chat? Earlier, I could swear I was smelling my dad's Caesar salad, so I gave him a call, Laba. It's a weird thing to smell. How can I help you, Laba? You look really great wearing your LaBelle knit shirt. So impressed. Not everyone can pull that off, Steve. I'm going to turn into I'm going to turn into your biggest fan if you don't stop that sort of thing, Laba. Yep. That's gonna keep you on the island. You keep uh, buttering me up like that. I'm gonna bet guess Moose is in here working on a DIY. Because that's like all he does. Pick one here. Right. Okay. Wonder if Matilda's still out here. Yep. Wow, you seem well, don't you, wee baby? Let's chat. I hope you have something exciting planned for today. It can be quite invigorating to change your routine. Is there something else you need, wee baby? Talk. The weather has finally warmed up, my dear, and that means it's time to get outside. What should I wear? The weather changes so quickly from one moment to the next this time of year. Hot, cold, hot, cold. Spring is a fashion conundrum. Yeah, I thought there would have been one right down here, but I'm obviously wrong. Let's go see Moose. There's one behind those houses I've never found. It, so. I always thought there was just four fossils, but I swear some days I've found five. Oh, Moose, you're not doing it. Oh, I'm supposed to visit him today. That's right. Welcome. My state-of-the-art gym is at your disposal, Shorty. That exercise ball catch your eye. Pretty sweet, ain't it? But equipment's only half the equation. You're going to know how to use it right, too, Shorty. It's like I always say, best buds keep their play dates. Oh, and Shorty? Of course. Hey, want to have a showdown? Me versus you? It's on. All right. Time for the greatest card sport ever invented. I forgot his accent. High card, low card. He gets so excited about this. You get this right, I'll give you my hamster cage, okay? Ready? Let's do it. All right, here comes the card. It's going to be a three. What's a seven? That one's kind of a hard one. Hmm. I'm going to go high. Big ass. Okay, ready? This is the moment. Will be a thrill victory or the crush of defeat? Let's find out. It's an eight. You nailed it. It's an eight. Well, like I promised, here's your hamster cage. Wow, that really pumped up my heart rate. Let's play again another time, shorty. What are you checking out, my log wall mounted clock? It might come as a surprise, but I'm deeply concerned about time. If you want to bulk up, you got to be serious. There's only so many hours in a day to work out, shorty. I think I want to sell a few things if you're interested. Not all my things, though. I need some stuff to lift. Just let me know if there's something you want to buy, okay? Uh, I think I'm good. Really? Oh, well. What the? Why would you sell me? I know. That would be rude. Well, you're really curious about the stuff in my house, Shorty. But you aren't going to discover any secrets to become a world-class athlete just by staring at my stuff. Yeah, I know, but when I mess with this... This whole room is dedicated to blasting my abs, Shorty. Feel free to blast yours if you feel like it. That's funny. Well, he gave me this ridiculous hamster cage. I may just sell that. Oh, I put a ton of effort in this room. Oh, I don't mean decorating. I work out in here. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the sweat I could work up here. I bet you could still smell it. Yeah. All right, I think I'm going to go. I had fun hanging out with you today, Steve. Almost forgot. I got you something. KK Rockabilly. Take it home and give it a listen. Oh, thanks. You're always free to swing by, shorty. Well, that was nice. I got two gifts from him. Even though he tried to offer to sell me stuff. That's my first uh, KK album. 
honestly don't know what to do with it. But anyway. Alright, uh, so I put some stairs here. Or ladder. Just to make it easy to get around up here. Oh, that looks uh, different. Yes! I caught a peacock butterfly. Now it's my turn to strip my stuff. Oh, wow. That was new. I, I was kind of taking a gamble, but... Okay. Well, I'm glad I come up this way. Uh, let's see. I put a ladder here. I think I put one... Yeah, I put, I put one of the old wooden ones here. There we go. We got fossils and we got blathers of bug. He's gonna love us. Let's check out our lunar lander. Looking good. And I put a ladder here. We'll plant our pears. That will give us four types of uh, fruit. I missed anything. It's so, like I said, it's so hard to tell. You just kind of hope you pick up three things. But we gotta save up for those uh, other house extensions. Actually, I don't know. I, I guess there's only like two more, maybe. And then I don't know what else you need bells for. Maybe those of you who are experts at the game, you know what comes up. That's a big train man. Gotcha. Mantis. Mantis is cool. They're like so big in real life. I remember when I was a kid and my best friend and I, we were we were out there with his little brother and we saw a praying mantis and there was a big old spider nest, not nest, but like spider web on his uncle's coal truck. And we thought it would be funny. We picked up the mantis. You know, we were little kids. We didn't understand, you know, the hierarchy of things. And we thought if we threw this praying mantis on that spider web that the spider would like have an easy time with this. So we did. We threw the mantis in the net, the web, and the spider come down like, oh yeah, you're mine now. And that mantis rocked his world and then tore down the entire webbing. And uh, yeah, that was that. All right. Let's see if I can space these. Up. One, two, there, one, two. Those may be too close. We gotta we were have to cut down these trees. Those might be about right. <clears throat> oh my axe. Oh good thing we got some more metal earlier. Room. 
I need to move some of those flowers up there, though. All right, those are all planted. Here you, Here you. So those are mum. Totally forget that. All right, so the pears are down. Now, where was the other fossil? I thought it was up here too. I not see it like now we got that one uh, all right let's go see blathers but yeah me adding all these ladders it makes it really easy to get around the island now. all That butterfly looks very different too. Oh, Nox was Hey, uh, Steve. So how's it feel being the talk of the island right now, Clucking? Word is you've been trying to get KK to stop by this place on his latest concert tour, Clucking. Don't know if you knew this, but I'm a great big KK fan myself. If you actually managed to get KK to do a show here on an island, I'll be one happy chicken. Show you I mean business. Let's take this. Take this. Your idea is to boost this place to get noticed by KK, right? I wonder if something like my lawnmower... <laughs> My lawnmower might help. Thanks, uh, Nox. Great purple. Okay, we got that. Um. I'm just getting stuff for money now. I need to look at the uh, list to see stuff that's like out here for me. Oh, well, it's going to be more valuable than, say, no, I just, really... all right, let's go in here and see what Blather says about our fossils. If we need to submit them or we can tell them. Blather's wake up. Ooh -hoo! Oh dear, pardon me. Well, hello, Steve. Welcome to the Bob and Museum. May I be of service? Will we get anything new today? Ah! He did find one that we don't have. Excellent. Let's see what it is. We have, what, three things to donate now? Oh, just two. What is this? Inkolo torso. The Kylo Ren torso. Ooh, who, who could it be? It is an Inkylo torso. Does this mean? Oh, another completion. Yes, it does. Yes, it is done. The Ankylosaurus is complete and a splendid specimen indeed. The Ankylosaurus was a remarkable creature. Pray tell, might I enlighten you with a few facts? Let's hear it. Wonderful! It is fascinating stuff. Oh, Ankylosaurus was the herbivore hero, the grazing gladiator, a vegetarian barbarian of antiquity. Between its club-like tail, heavy armor, and honest-to-goodness spikes, it was a formidable beast. Can you keep a secret? I have even heard recent theories that it actively attacked predators. Couldn't you imagine such behavior in a herbivore? It simply beggars the imagination. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, though. Uh, yeah, I got a bug for you. This episode's going on so late. Eek! A peacock butterfly! Tell me more. Pretty as a peacock. Bah, I say. 
The wings of the peacock butterfly may have been patterned similar to that of the beautiful bird, but its four wings are often often covered in dark, velvety hair. You heard right, hairy wings. A hair-raising revelation indeed. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. I'm fine. Alright, let's go sell stuff. I want to put the star down. And then, uh... Actually, let me go put the star down now. Then I really wanted to put the disco ball in my, uh... In my bathroom. Put the star out here. What do I do with these KK things? Awesome. Oh, you can interact with it. That's so cool. How about if you interact with the one up, it does the doo -doo -doo -doo. like when you're digging the stuff out. Oh, that's cool. Wonder if I could like touch the star and then just run through animals. Rock their world. Just in case, what are the turnip prices? 177. So I would have made good money, but not as much as I made at Juniper Island with uh, Terra Bulaticat. Uh, okay. We, we need to clear a lot of that. Hamster cage, I don't want that. Lawnmower, I gotta put that out. I'm very curious to see... What the lawnmower looks like. 40,000, okay. I mean, it, it, even though we've had a long episode today, I hope you all have enjoyed it. I know I've had a blast. Just running around and doing all sorts of different things. Um, I do want to... Let's put the lawnmower, like, right here. I want to see what it looks like. Is it like a riding lawnmower or just a lawnmower? Oh my. It's one of the old timey ones. There we go. I'm sure that will bring KK in no matter what. Uh, that goes inside. Okay, yeah, all this stuff goes inside. Alright, disco ball in the bathroom sounds amazing. Middle. <laughs> you know what? Let's put a study poster in the bathroom too. Excellent. The bathroom is coming along nicely. Um. Uh, let's hang this KK album on the uh, wall. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. What? There's no room. What do you mean? I'm confused. Is it bigger? Is, it, is that the problem? Oh, that's interesting. Alright, we'll put this in storage. And, um... I need to put my bells in the bank, I guess. But anyways! Uh, oh, I need to put these weeds. In case we never need to do uh, medicine. Anyways! I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I've had a blast. I know it went long. I want to thank again Terra Bulatikat. Let me visit Juniper for the pears and the 461 price for bells. As always, thank you all so very much. Do hit that like button if you have not. God bless. Don't forget to make good decisions. And I will see you next time. Hey, everybody. I'm Stephen Thomas. Subscribe if you have not. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is hit that like button down below. Also, if you want to support the channel, there's a plethora of ways to do that down in the description. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.